here is uh, an incredible way to find uh, exactly what is in a picture or what a picture is of. Uh, if you've been given uh, a picture of something, even if you've taken a, a uh, lots of times I've taken pictures of artwork and I can't remember what the artwork is. You could use this to find uh, virtually any picture that's on the internet uh, using a Google Images search. So I'm at Google. I click on Images to get to this page. Uh, here's just an example. Here's a, a picture that uh, I downloaded from the internet. I dropped this picture on here. Uh, it's a picture of uh, Abigail Adams. It was this photograph, and it finds all of these pictures that match it. You can tell right away. I mean, it says this is a picture of Abigail Adams. Uh, I have uh, a photograph of my uh, dog. Uh, this is my dog. Her name's uh, Taffy. Uh, I got her to wear these glasses and got a picture of her a couple years ago. And uh, I put it out there. I called it Geeky Taffy. Uh, and uh, I shared it. Uh, Creative Commons. You can see right here is Creative Commons. Now, this photograph has been used a few times by other people on the internet. Uh, the question is, how many times has it been used? Well, if I go back to uh, my Google image search, I've downloaded my picture of Taffy. I drop it on here. Uh, first off, it uh, it guesses that this image is called it a hipster corgi. Taffy is a corgi, so a uh, hipster corgi is good. Uh, that's a good description of this picture. And then it finds other pictures of what look like corgis uh, wearing glasses, you know, because this is a picture of my corgi wearing glasses. But here's where it gets interesting. If I scroll down, these are all my picture of uh, my corgi wearing glasses, uh, and there are hundreds of them. Uh, here's one. It looks like uh, mine. It's uh, Link Flu is actually a compilation of uh, other people's Flickr pictures. Uh, but if I look through here, uh, these are all people using this photograph that I made in various ways uh, on their websites. And that's a handy tool either to find out how much one of your photos has been used or let's say you have a photo you're not exactly proud of and you need to try to get rid of it. You could dump it into Google Image Search and see how many times it's out there in public. It's not going to help you find it if it's buried somewhere in Facebook uh, where it might be password protected. But uh, as far as uh, what can be found if someone does just a regular old Google Image Search, this is a, a really handy tool.